Hi. I like social media. And one of the important reasons that I really like social media is because individuals like myself can use it to get information out to the public that doesn't rely on the, the bureaucratic pyramids of broadcast media where a few people at the top determine what information everybody receives. If I or any other person with, a, with an iPhone wants to get information onto the World Wide Web, they can. Now that has issues. There are trolls and charlatans and just plain silliness all over social media apps, but there are also some really serious uh, creators out there putting out important information, and that's particularly true right now because of the Russia-Ukraine conflict that's going on. Uh, this video that I'm making now is going to be a one-off video. It's, it's out of the ordinary for me. I don't make videos like this. But a few things happened over the past few days that got my attention that I thought it was important to put a little bit of information out there for my viewers in case you're interested. Uh, about a, a week ago, I saw a tweet on, on Twitter uh, that uh, was talking about Russian tourists here in Thailand. According to the Bangkok Post, 16,000 Russian tourists have arrived in Thailand since February 1st. Well, imagine that you were on vacation somewhere halfway across the world, and suddenly your currency became worthless and your ATM, your debit cards, and your credit cards all stopped working. Uh, that is probably very much the case for uh, Russian citizens now here in Thailand. I can imagine how that, how that would affect you. And I thought, wow, that's you know really an important bit of information, and I got it from social media. Uh, social media can be silly. Uh, TikTok, which is a platform that I use, I put short videos on it. Uh, up until three weeks ago, it was a, primarily a young women bouncing their boobs around on silly videos. Suddenly, all these images and stories coming out of Ukraine showing the conflict there are dominating TikTok. It's, it's really pretty amazing. Now, what I'm doing here in this video is I watch a YouTuber named Jake Bro, and I watch him for his finance videos. I like to follow markets and finance, and he's very good at that. Uh, but Jake is also, uh, he just recently resigned his commission with the United States Air Force, where he was a major with the Strategic Air Command. I think that's what makes him good at finance, because he's good at analyzing data. Well, when the Ukraine crisis uh, began, he started putting out videos about, about that. And he's really, really good at analyzing strategic warfare. That was his job, and it was an important job. And he's made some really bold predictions that have turned out to be very, very accurate. The first of which uh, got my attention was about the invasion, the Russian invasion in Ukraine. Everybody kind of saw that coming. But he predicted exactly when it would happen and why. And that was relevant to markets, because markets react to, to, uh, to things like invasions. And he was 100% correct on when the invasion would happen. He has since made a few other bold uh, predictions, one of which he just made three days ago, which was that China was uh, going to start backing away from their alliance with, with Russia. I want to highlight the relationship between Russia and China because I don't believe it's as close as people think it is. And indeed, the next day reports started coming out. I was reading them from the Financial Times where the, uh, the foreign minister of China uh, said, we are not uh, allied with Russia. We are simply strategic partners. Now, that's kind of soft language. I don't know what it means, but it's a clear signal. Hey, we're backing away. Uh, China also contacted Ukraine to say that they wanted to broker a peace deal and they were very upset about civilian casualties. I'm getting all of this information from social media and I'm getting it from Jake Bro. And that's the purpose of this video. I'm simply recommending that if you're interested in what's going on in the Ukraine and you want to get some really, really valuable information, go look at Jake Bro's last three videos. He's shifted from finance to reporting about about the crisis there and the information he's putting out 
is different than anything you're going to see on any of the big media outlets. They're, they're constrained by their own bureaucracies and their own biases, and we all know that. That's not new information. And again, that's the value of social media. So I'll put Jake's link in the description. Go take a look at that if you like. This is the only video of its kind that I'm going to make. I'll be back to my normal content after this. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.